Good morning, Holy Trinity. Today is Thursday, May 4th. Happy Star Wars Day. May the Force be with you. I'm your host, Wilhelm Schroeder. Please rise to the of our national anthem. Good morning, everybody. Uh, as we continue our theme for Catholic Education Week, We Are Many, We Are One, uh, today we delve into the sub-theme is when we learn, because uh, we are called to learn and contemplate the meaning, meaningful and valuable contributions of indigenous people. Embracing our Catholic social teaching, we learn and reflect on the journey towards truth, healing, and reconciliation. So let us pray. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. All-powerful God, you are present in the whole universe and in the smallest of your creatures. You embrace with your tenderness all that exists. Pour out upon us the power of your love that we may protect life and beauty. Fill us with peace so we may live as brothers and sisters harming no one. O God of the poor, help us to rescue and abandon and Rescue the abandoned and forgotten of this earth, so precious in your eyes. Bring healing to our lives, that we may protect the world and not prey on it, that we may sow beauty, not pollution and destruction. Touch the hearts of those who look only for gain at the expense of the poor and the earth. Teach us to discover the worth of each living thing, to be filled with awe and contemplation, to recognize that we are profoundly united with every creature as we journey towards your infinite light. We thank you for being with us each day. Encourage us, we pray, in our struggle for justice, love, and peace. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hello there. Can all students who place first or second in their events please come down to the brief, for a brief meeting in the big gym to grab permission forms and a schedule and to confirm your events with, for the AABHN championships next week. Holy Trinity and Brant Hall, the Norfolk Catholic District School Board, would like to congratulate Caitlin Albanese for her ex exceptional performance in the Skill Ontario competition on Tuesday. Caitlin competed against 23 other students from schools across Ontario in the Architectural Technology and, Divine Co and Design competition. Good work, Caitlin. We are very proud of your dedication and performance at Skill. Attention members and cast of the Lorax, please be at the stage for 6 p.m. to set up for this evening's performance. There will be a music ministry practice in the music room, room 147, over lunch day starting at 11.45. Cast vessels today are teriyaki broccoli plus meatballs over rice, broccoli and cheddar soup, and grilled cheese. That's all for me, Titans. Now over to Miss Williams. Good morning, Titans. Uh, just a couple of announcements from administration. A uh, reminder that anybody interested in a student senator position for the upcoming school year has to email um, Mrs. Williams, T. Williams at BHNCDSB, just a short email about why you think that you would be a good fit for this position. We will be reviewing all the emails uh, tomorrow and Monday by the end of the day, we'll be making our decision. Um, as you're all aware, and you've heard me talk about many times, we do have two trips, international trips, uh, next year. One, the Italy-Greece trip is full. You can put your name on the wait list, but it is full. However, 
There is still room on the Southern Italy cuisine trip, but it's filling fast. So if you're interested in those and you want to take advantage of the $200 discount, make sure you sign up uh, before May 14th and get your name on those uh, for those amazing experiences. Tonight, as you heard in the announcements, we will have the Lorax. We'll have an evening of the arts. There'll be music, art installations. So if you uh, don't have any plans and want to do something exciting this evening, come out and support our evening of the arts. Tomorrow um, is the National Day for Missing and Murdered Indigenous Women. So in Canada, Indigenous women and girls are targeted for violence more than any other group. They are 12 times more likely to go missing or be murdered. In the US, they face murder rates of up to 10 times higher than the national average. In 2019, a national inquiry named this crisis in Canada a genocide. In-depth reports found that regularly missing indigenous women and girls are stereotyped or stigmatized and their families' concerns are dismissed. So tomorrow, on May 5th, the National Day of Awareness for Missing, Murdered, Indigenous Women and Children, our community will stand in solidarity, show support, remember and honor all missing and murdered Indigenous women and girls and their families by wearing a red shirt in place of a uniform or spirit wear top. And we will have a display of a red dress installation in the atrium. That's all from me, Titans. Have a great day.